coach. So after uh, four non-conference matchups, the conference play uh, arrives this week, and uh, you get to start it at home. Yeah, no, looking forward to it. I mean, uh, been a lot of travel the last few weeks, and uh, guys are getting a chance to sleep in their own beds and prepare and uh, get ready for a home crowd. And a lot of excitement, so yeah. There's a rumor uh, Lucky might even be there this weekend, so uh, we're looking forward to it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Pulling out all the stops. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the other conference fields. Are they all turf fields? Or are you guys one of the, the rare uh, fields that, that, that have a turf field? Um, there's a few other teams that have turf, uh, but I think there's like three in the conference that have it. So most of them aren't, aren't turf. Is there any type of advantage aside from, hey, the team's got to travel up here? You know, the surface is something that they don't see every day. So it certainly is. Uh, a little bit of an advantage for us, but it's not a huge one because it is such a, a, a consistent surface. Um, it's not that big of a deal. They they tend to get used to it pretty quickly, but you know every slight little bit we can get, we'll take. Uh, tell me just uh, what you know about both uh, San Bernardino and Pomona. San Bernardino has a new coach this year. Um, they've gone through a little bit of turmoil this off season, so we're not 100 percent sure what they're going to have or what they're going to be like. Um, They've had some good results so far this season, so it looks like uh, they've righted the ship pretty well and doesn't seem to be affecting them um, too much. Pomona are obviously returning uh, most of the team that uh, lost in the national championship final this year, so a um, very talented team and uh, one that uh, I think our guys are going to be very excited to uh, test themselves against. Uh, you guys uh, with Sherms, uh, uh, Cotero, uh, you going to still kind of the matchup and kind of rotate or Yeah, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I guess at this point they're doing a great job. I mean, they've got two shutouts in four games and we're not giving up too many goals. So, you know, I think we'll stick with it in the meantime. So, see how it goes. Um, you guys have had four matches and then two conference games uh, this weekend. Uh, will you be able to tell just the type of team you got after, you know, having played, you know, the four non-conference and then two conference games this weekend? Well, that's the hope. I mean, the CCA is such a tough conference, and we know coming into it the, the level's going to jump up. I mean, it means a little bit more now, so the other teams are going to come in and give it everything that they have, and we're uh, going to try to do the same in a, protecting our own field. So um, it'll be a good test, especially for our young team, to see what they're made of in uh, these kind of really tough conference environments. Are you playing a different brand of soccer? You, you see you've a, a lot of low-scoring soccer. You see a lot of low-scoring matches. But the type of defense that you're playing to kind of uh, allow it that, you know, to make those low-scoring uh, contests? Yeah, I think we're focusing a little bit more on the defense this year than we have in the past. I mean, we've tried to, in the past, play a little bit more of an open game and looking to score goals and create an exciting environment. But this year, with such a young team, we're just trying to like I said, ease into the season and take it little by little and make sure that we're building confidence. We don't uh, overwhelm the guys and then uh, put ourselves in a situation where they're losing confidence and we're struggling to uh, manage the season. So we're just trying to, you know, take it easy and, and be smart, play within ourselves and uh, do what we can. And so far it's, it's working.